you know, I don't even know why I sound like this announcer. I saw you like two years ago at the Orpheum. You came to play uh, when you just had that for the Love and Strange Medicine when it came out when you were doing your solo thing. Are you still going to do solo on top of Journey? <laughs> so on top of Journey? Are you getting sexual with me right now? You want to know if I'm well, on top or on the want bottom, to. right? I'd like to. Oh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I'm in Journey. I'm the singer in Journey, and, and I've, I've waited a long time to be the singer in Journey again. I'm really excited about being here. So, you know, this is what I'm doing. It, it takes, uh, Journey is a big, big project, and it takes all my uh, devoted attention. So here I am. And there you How are. You guys, I'm here, and you're there. You're out in the West Coast. Yeah. What time is it there? Uh, 7.30. Very early. In the morning. I wonder why you guys are so giddy. Yeah, we got up at 5 today to get here. Oh. All for you. Yeah. A little violin playing. So that doesn't work. Okay. So did you like the show? I love the show. I mean, it was incredible. You came into town, into Boston, and you just rocked the house. The whole place was, you know, standing on their seat. I owe you money. It was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. And the best part was when the, when you had a jacket drop out of the ceiling. Mm. That was fun. All right, so the question is, what happened with the tabloids and all the rumors about um, you having cancer and all that? You addressed that in your uh, in your show when you talked about it kind of briefly, but we never really got the, the answer for it. There was a big rumor that I had throat cancer because, you know, the band sort of left at its peak. I mean, Journey didn't fall into a valley of uh, obscurity. When we stopped, I mean, we were still up and grooving and burning, and, and uh, we had just kind of, you know, reached, I think, burnout. And I definitely had reached burnout. So I just leaped off the boat, you know. And I think that people can understand that. I mean, why would somebody do that? Uh, there must be something wrong. And I think the rumors got started that, you know, that I had throat cancer. I think what really also helped that rumor was that my mother was, uh, at that point, terminally ill, and I was traveling around with her after I left the group trying to um, get her some help. So I would show up at radiology uh, clinics and stuff, and people didn't know what my mother looked like, but they knew what I looked like. So they'd see Steve Perry at radiology in different clinics, and they'd put two and two together, and they'd think, it must be throat cancer. So that's how they got started. Well, thanks for clearing that up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what's new in all of your love lives? I mean, who you with? Do you have kids, families? We all want to know. It's been so long. Oh, I've got about 20 kids. <laughs> <laughs> very busy. Another 20 on the way. <laughs> I've been very busy. <laughs> no, I've got, uh, this is Neil. Uh, I'm happily married, and uh, I've got uh, three children. My son, Miles, is eight, and my daughter, Lizzie's five, and, and my new addition to the family, Sarah, is four months. And uh, I'm really loving it. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, yeah, this is Jonathan. Um, I got married uh, way back when and uh, just have had twins with my wife Elizabeth. Uh, they're eight months old, um, Liza and Weston. And I have a three-year-old daughter, Madison. And uh, I'm very happy. Well, that's great. All right, Steve. Yeah. And, uh, make me all depressed that you have someone special in your life. I had the biggest crush on you my whole life. Well, Lynn, what happened? I mean, I was in Boston. What happened? I don't know. I, Why know, didn't you come up? Fact, I wanted to so bad, but I, they whisked you off the stage and you well, I do have someone in my life in a monogamous uh, relationship at this point, and that we're doing what that means. <laughs> we're doing the monogamous thing, you know. All right. The big question is, which one of you is buying Tickle Me Elmo for your kids? Oh, Jesus. We gave up on trying for that. <laughs> yeah. Really? None of you got one? Nope. I didn't even hear about it. <clears throat> I didn't even know what it was. Somebody brought it up yesterday, and I was like, what is that? No, my kids are way into Barbie. We have Barbie everything, you know. She wants Barbie skis now. They don't make Barbie skis. Okay. <laughs> they have the life-size Barbie for you, though. Ah, so. uh, yeah, that's my wife. That's my wife, Liz. Okay. Everybody says tickle me elmo. I don't know. I, I keep hearing tickle my yeah. elmo. Tickle my elmo. That's tickle it. Tickle my elmo. <clears throat> that's an adult toy. Elmo? That's, that's an elmo. That's, that's the uh, adult version, tickle my elmo. You get that in those sex shops, right? Okay. All right, you guys, so when are you coming to Boston? That's the big question, because this time I will personally come on stage after the show. Probably the summertime. Yeah, yeah. we're hoping. We're heading for early summer. That's what it looks you like. are. Yep, yeah. we're pointing that way. What? We're pointing that way. Maybe we'll go to Worcester, <laughs> Maybe we'll go to Worcester Mass. Do you know how dogs, you know how dogs like raise one leg and point with their tail out, you know, at an angle, and their nose is sticking? That's where we're pointing, yeah. Lynn. You know. Thank you. And I, my tongue is hanging, and I'm pointing towards he's Boston. He's right boy. Now. He's doggy. <laughs> Lynn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Panting. Hi. Oh my god. All right. So, what are you? See what you started. Holiday? I'm sorry. I can't help it. I'm all. You know, I'm gushing. Are you? <laughs> You're gushing or blushing? Easy, guys. I don't. 
easy. Go easy. I'm sorry. Be nice. I know. God, this, you know, Lynn, Lynn, this has been really good for me. Can I have a cigarette? Can I make, give me a moment? Oh, my God. This has been wonderful.